property here, uh, Dwayne. Uh, I have a total of six and a half acres. Part of it I'm not allowed to use because my wife told me if I put antennas up near the house, uh, I'm, I'm in trouble. So uh, I've got a couple acres on the low, uh, northern part of the property here where my ham shack and everything is. So uh, I've got these big steel uh, beams that uh, the previous owner left. So I'm, uh, I'm actually going to try to find somebody here in the next uh, month or so that can come out with a uh, like an auger and dig me uh, four holes about four feet deep uh, and about a foot in diameter so I can stick these big steel beams down and around, pointing them straight up to concrete them. And then uh, I'm going to use them. I'm, I'm looking at, uh, I'm actually either going to do an 80 meter or even a 160 meter uh, loop antenna and uh, uh, just uh, make, make something for uh, all band. Uh, Glenn, go ahead. Yeah, that sounds good uh, there, uh, Chuck. Very nice. Yeah, well, that ought to do it. Uh, those beams in the ground, uh, four feet deep in concrete, uh, don't think it's going to move too much. Uh, uh, withstand about any earthquake that you'd ever have. <laughs> Very good. Yeah, well, you're on an older uh, uh, J2. I'm on a newer one, I guess. I'm on a, uh, a DX10 which I got a year ago, and I uh, like it very much. Uh, I'm just running barefoot here, about 75 watts. Uh, also to uh, a dipole antenna of about 45 feet. So that's, uh, that's the deal here. I'm going to hang in here for just a few more minutes, and then I've got to go uh, check on the XYL down on the lower deck here and see what the plans are for tomorrow. Now, let's finish your one. I thank you both very much for letting me uh, board in here on your uh, on your uh, conversation and uh, we'll do it again hopefully sometime if you work for the uh, very much so uh, back up to you against Rich VE3 YW I have it correct me if I'm wrong this is WDALRM yeah WDALRM is uh, VE3 YW uh, it's uh, it's uh, it's uh, it's uh, Hey, 